Right guys, so we're back for another Dragon Ball Legends video, and I haven't done Legends content in a long time, but you know, this is a Legends Festival. We'll go ahead and watch this... What would you call this? Like, I forgot what you call it. I don't want to call it Dokkan now, but whatever the Legends equivalent is, right? Let's just go ahead and watch this. Let's, let's just see what's there. Alright, right, who's on the banner, Toshi? Who's on the banner? I feel like Revival Freeze is the only one who's being you. Oh, I say that. Like, am I seeing LOE? I literally every game is just hybrids. Pan, Beast Gohan, and then Future Gohan. That's all I'm seeing every single game. Okay, I mean, they did this last time, right? For, was it the anniversary? Again, I stopped playing by quite a lot during the anniversary, so I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think they did do this. So Gen 1, Gen 2, and then Gen 3. Okay. Bruh, no one cares about this, man. Show us the characters. Who's coming? It's, it has to be LF Super Saiyan for Goku and Vegeta, right? I suppose the only point of contention is, is it going to be the dual LF banner format or just a singular LF banner format? So is it going to be the same as last year or... This year, in terms of the anniversary, we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Festival choice battle. This should give us a hint, right? So, Saiyan, Sagas from the movie, God Key, and LOE. Okay, that does not help us at all. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to guess the, the the main theme of the LF units. That didn't really help us. Festival raid, who's it against? I'm not gonna lie, the last raid was a bit of a bummer. I believe they changed the format yet again. No, make sure to summon on the brand new characters, so then you can get them to increase the rates of your medals. <laughs> that's what they, that's what they mean to say, right? Okay, Hoi is always good. Loki Hoi is actually just very good for just other training resources, right? Like the the Zol the the souls, the the Zenkai souls, or just the the regular super and uh, rising souls. And erases and other bits of bi bits and bobs, essentially. Oh, neat! Those, I just realized, those SS4 Gogeta... Now, let's keep it going. Arts costumes look really dope as hell. Legends Festival Special Missions, oh my god. They, I know they do this every single time, but it's like, come on, just show us the brand new units. I don't know for sure, but I feel like the average has been coming down in terms of them distributing CC to us. Then again, I've been spending my CC very furiously, so like, I don't... I'm not really the, the best judge of that. What is this? Summons played using CC will give Z2 medals instead of Z medals. Summons played using Chrono Crystals will give Z2 medals instead. Z2 medals will receive the exchangeable for different items than the normal Z medals. And what are these items? Hey, raid events? You can skip raids with the tickets? Holy, I didn't know that. Take a look at this. Here we go. Who is it? What is it? Okay, they're, okay, they're building up. All right, UI Goku. Gogeta Blue. Goku and Vegeta. This is still probably my favorite unit release ever in Legends. Sword of Cope Trunks. Ultra Gogeta. Why is this taking so long? It's back this year. What is it? It is... Okay, I mean, everyone knew it was GT, right? Majub. Omega. So this is another sparking. Oh, that art looks sick as hell. Wait, what? Android 17? Nani? <laughs> Bro, there's no way. This must be an EX. Bro, imagine if Super 17's the LF. There's no way. Yeah, okay. Gogeta. There we go. The strongest tag character ever. Yeah, it is. Goku and Vegeta burst onto the scene. Oh! The art, though. Oh, that's the... That's, yeah, that's the same intro from Dokkan. Okay. What are we going to finish it off with? Fusion? No, okay. Surely there's more. I knew we could do it. <laughs> Was there ever any doubt? Wait, is that it? There's like there's there's no there's no like fusion into Gogeta? Surely. With that, extreme Omega Shenron and Maju. Oh my extreme? Oh my god. Super Saiyan 4, wow, they just they they just oh extreme Omega Shenron. Are you kidding me?
surely like Gogeta is a part of the unit somewhere. Right, remember there was that like, new teaser for the the Ultimate Arts card as well as the Awakened Arts card, kind of fused fused together. But does anyone even care about Android 17? I mean, it's good for GT, right? I think it's also good for Androids, but I don't know, guys. Okay, chill. <laughs> 17, you gotta chill, my bro. You gotta chill, brother. All right, Goku and Vegeta. There's a strike cover change. Hit Omega with the blue card. Oh, that quote is so good. These times are dark enough. Yeah, yeah. Goku, that's his full voice. He's so sick. Oh, it's an AoE green card. Okay, that's annoying. Bro, why does Vegeta look a bit scary? That smile, bro. Vegeta knows something. Now, let's look at the abilities for the Oh, maybe they, okay, maybe there just isn't a Gogeta transformation then. We have Android 17. This character has plenty of ways to sabotage enemies and support allies. 90% damage inflicted, 60% damage reduction, 70% to key recovery. Depending on how many effects occur according to the number of times this character has been on the battlefield. Enemies will be inflicted with increased damage received or even increased Okay, I mean, I'm not going to look too much into kits, right? Because I'd have to, like, study these kits, but I, I don't really want to pause, so we'll keep it going. Sean's on sub count, I see that. It's interesting. In their tracks while giving allies some valuable support. Plus, according to the number of timer counts elapsed from the battle start, Android 17 I hate I hate when units get that. 15 counts elapsed, 30 counts elapsed, 40 counts elapsed. Nowadays, Beast Gohan comes in and he, watch, he one shots you with your blue card. Moving on, we have They're green, okay. Goku and Vegeta. Tag GT or Tag Saiyan, base strike and blast attack, and 15% to tag GT base strike defense. Both Goku and Vegeta's special move arts are incredibly strong. Nullifies enemies restore health when it reaches zero. On the blue card? Okay. Increase in power depending on how many arts cards are destroyed. So they really pack a punch right from the get-go. Goku specializes in high-powered single strikes. And if you tag switch from Vegeta, you'll draw a special move arts card and get a huge increase to critical rate, giving Goku the opportunity to dish out a crazy amount of firepower in an instant. On the other hand, Vegeta is more focused on stringing together combos with a permanent increase to arts card draw speed. Plus, if you tag switch from Goku, Vegeta's draw speed will increase even more, meaning this character is a combo machine that can charge the switch gauge in no time. That brings us to the end of the character reveals. And that is it? Not the end of the news. Check this out. Dan Dan is playing. Okay. The Japanese Dragon Ball GT. Now call me stupid, guys. Am I am I feeling underwhelmed? I feel like I'm under I'm feeling underwhelmed. Video just before will be featured in Legends for a limited time. That's going to make battle even more exciting. You're right about that. Even if you usually have the game on mute, be sure to turn up the volume for this. Well, yeah, for content creators, make sure you mute that off. Moving on, take a look at this. Legends Battle Royale GT. Okay. Legends Battle Royale. Legends Battle Royale. Am I the only one who's feeling underwhelmed? I, 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 I could have sworn there was supposed to be a Gogeta somewhere, like a, a transforming tag unit. I'm actually glad that I kept summoning for Beast Gohan. I don't really think I missed out on anything. Saiyan in red. Oh, are the, okay. I'll be honest, I don't really pay attention to the story mode. So Zaha will be playable now? I'm very underwhelmed. Bro, I don't I don't care. Am I the one who don't who doesn't care? I don't know. I'm I'm kinda confused. Is there anything at the end? Is there anything at the end? Is there anything at the end? I see the end screen teasers, that's not a good sign. 
that felt pretty underwhelming for me. I mean, here's the thing. Regen's kind of in the mud. Right? Like, they gave us Omega, but they've give, they made him an extreme. I mean, for me, it's not too bad, because I literally have zero crystals. Well and I don't even know if I'm that hyped for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. This does not feel the same level of hype as the Blues did last year. Unfortunately, going back to their tried and tested formula that worked out for them this year, I believe, actually, in terms of revenue, the anniversary was the most profitable ever for Dragon Ball Legends. So... It seems as if, yeah, like, this is going to be the new formula going forward, which absolutely sucks, in my opinion. I'd much rather prefer having dual LFs. Unfortunately, as well, there doesn't seem to be a teaser of the triple Z power or triple sparking rate. They did actually, I believe, mention last year that it was a one-off thing or that it was going to be a one-off thing. I'm not really too hyped. I mean, hype levels is low, but yeah, again, I anticipate, actually, this Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta unit is going to be very impressive and will probably attempt to kick Beast Gohan out of the meta, but yeah, I, I don't know, literally there was like a 10 minute period where I, I did not say anything, I was just completely silent, because, I don't know, hype levels weren't there, like, I wish I'd done like a, a reaction to last year's festival video, I probably would have been going crazy, because I remember at the time I was watching it live, Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta is still, like, from the Broly film, is still crazy, so, thank you guys for watching, let me guys think, uh, I don't know, no Gogeta as well, that kind of sucks, uh, I was hoping that with the, the, the tease, or the leaks, or the data mines that they were going to split the ultimate and the awakened arts into one card, that they were going to have some sort of a tag LF transformation, but that didn't happen either. So I don't know, maybe they're saving that for part two, maybe they're saving that for the future, maybe even like the part three ultra. Let me know what you guys think of the, the announcements that were made today, and I'll catch you in the next one.